royalties from your rap pattern becoming a thing of the last, I would say the last year, year and a half. Slob on my, ASAP Ferg, Slob on my knob. You know, the, uh, what was it, G-Eazy record, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it's been used three times, I think. And there's been three hit yes. records. Yes, yes, yes. Do you on, on see money from that? 100% of the publishing. We own it, me and Paul, yeah. Wow. 100%. 100%? 100%. So does that mean that... I never sold it. And so, but what percentage of the Ferg record, for example, do you get? Oh, I got like, uh, I think it was like 45% of that. Wow, that's a wow. great percentage. And yeah. when these things were, uh, when they came out, did you know about them ahead of time? Or they just one of those things that you heard it, you was like, oh, that's my shit. We getting paid. Yeah, well, a lot of times, you know, I got a, um, like BMG is, um, like they, uh, they, they administrate our publishing. Yeah. So I get emails a lot. I get like, I clear like three, four samples a day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So they 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 hit me up. They was like, "Yo, um, we got this sample, blah blah blah. You know, we getting this much percentage." And I, all I gotta do is hit approve. That's it. I don't, you know, I really I really let them do all the paperwork and all the negotiations. Yeah, just approve it. So you say approve, and the money starts rolling in. That's it. All right, sounds pretty. This easy. is why I got an artist, but I own their publishing and masters, and this is why a lot of new artists should understand him. Learn the value of owning your music and your rights. Juicy J basically have a, a publishing deal, or not a publishing deal, but like he owns his publishing, which means he have a certain saying or a certain bar, you know what I'm saying, lyric or whatever the case, that has to do with something he created is originally from him. It's popular, so other artists use it. When other artists use it, the money that's made, that's being made from them using that, can be basically um, advertised, and basically Juicy J will make money off of his publishing, off of his saying. You feel me? And it could be from CD, DVD, ringtone, download, t TV, radio, movie. Whatever the case, live revenue, whatever. And all he got to do is basically approve it. You feel me? And like he said in the clip, what usually happens is he basically get emails every single day. You know what I'm saying? He, he said three times a day. And basically what happens is, boom, it pops up. Hey, this person basically wants to use this in the song or this and that in a movie, whatever. Boom. Approve or not approve. Feel me? And he have a certain, it's a certain um, company that allows you to kind of essentially go through them. You feel me? Um, so it's like you kind of in the middle. You feel me? They basically tell you like, hey, this person wants to do this, approve or not approve. Feel me? And ultimately, that's what happens. They approve. I mean, he approve or he don't, you know. You have the rights to do either one. Um, and it's very unique because you said it. You feel me? You don't want nobody eating off something you created. Because you created it. And so now it's really just basically business. You feel me? Somebody else says it, say it, put it in a song, whatever the case. Boom. A lot of, see, a lot, I think Ty Dollar Sign is really good at this. Um, and he, I think he's good on like writing. I, I, I want to say he wrote a lot of songs that, that's platinum and that's basically going crazy. But a lot of people don't know about that. It's because he's not out here like, hey, I created that song. I did this. You feel me? He's not out here trying to get credit. He's just out here collecting bags. You feel me? And I noticed this because I've watched the interview where he basically spoke on it briefly. And it's very interesting and unique that just because you don't see people face, because a lot of people say like, hey, this artist fell off and this, this and that about this artist. Yet they don't know that, OK, boom, this artist, your favorite artist could have took a song that this artist wrote. And this artist is getting paid off of that. And quote unquote, he's actually still working and he still haven't fell off. He just wrote something for somebody else that's doing well, if not more than well and very successful. 
I don't know. I just think it's the way you look at things. Um, younger artists, new artists should look at this publishing and master thing as a way to get ahead of the game. But it's a fine line, I think, because just because you don't have or own your masters or publishing doesn't mean that don't take the deal because that deal, if you're not popping enough, could help you at the end of your deal to put you in a better position financially and in, in, in this world-wise. Think I should take the camera? Hmm? Think I should take the camera? Mm-hmm. You still getting videos. Huh? So you still getting videos. Are you leaving right now, right now? Not right now. I'm going to take them out. Yeah, they're not going to be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's going to But uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why, though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take, if you, if, if I get, if I want to make my own barbecue sauce, and I literally just steal the, their ingredients right off the back of the, the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. So you can put it in your bag. What? They can put it in your bag. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long, but... Yeah. I lost the battery down my camera. I look sexy. Excuse me? I'm sexy and I know it. That's not sexy.